everybody, it's Katrin here from D3 Total Diver Evolution. So today I just wanted to talk about mask preparation. I have the Techline Superview mask with me. If you've ever gone diving or snorkeling before and you've had your mask constantly misting up to the point that you're having to clear it every 15 minutes in order to be able to just see, it is one of the most irritating things and can ruin the whole experience of a dive. And often it's because when you buy a new mask, you're so excited to use it and you don't realize that you actually need to prepare your mask before your first dive. So when your mask is being made, the manufacturer puts a releasing agent on the skirt of the mask so that they can remove the skirt from a mold without it tearing. This releasing agent leaches onto our lens and this is what prevents our defog from working. Therefore, we need to correctly prepare our mask to get that releasing agent off of the lens so that it is clean and we are able to defog our mask. Okay, so there are several steps to preparing a mask. The first one, as alarming as it sounds, is to burn our mask. First, we need to make sure that our mask lens has the word tempered or a T on it. This means that it is tempered glass and not plastic, so it will not melt. Okay, so we will hold a lighter flame to the inside of the mask and you'll actually be able to see an invisible film burning away. You need to make sure that you watch out for the skirts of the mask because this is rubber, so we do not want to burn that. I'll upload a photo over here of what your lens should look like once you're finished burning it. It should be entirely black. Next, we must make sure we have the correct cleaning solution. We can use toothpaste, but it must not be the gel kind. It must be the white creamy kind or it can be sunlight liquid, or we can use mask preparation solution. You're going to need to put aside three to five minutes of pure elbow grease for this next step. So you're going to place the solution on the inside of your lens, and then you're going to use your thumb or your index and middle finger to rub away this black burn. One way that you can tell that you're doing the job correctly is you will begin to hear a squeak on the lens between your finger and the lens or you can hold it up to your face and you can breathe into it and it should fog up slightly but it shouldn't fog up to the point that you cannot see through it okay and with those two simple steps you have now prepared your new mask for its first dive lastly i just want to chat about some tips for defogging before a dive because although we have prepared our mask we still need to prepare on our dive day okay so we have the good old spit defog <laughs> and it's as simple as spit rub and rinse and it works but one thing you should know is that if your lens is not dry and is slightly wet or damp from a previous dive it is likely that it will fog up on the next dive with that trick but if you are stuck and you don't have defog spit works just fine okay and next we have our commercial defog which is what i use and what we sell here at d3 it works wonders if your mask is wet it still works you just put it in rub it and rinse it and you are set to go okay and next we have baby shampoo and sunlight liquid and people swear by this you just use the soapy solution rub it rinse it same as all the others and it works one thing you must make sure of though is that you rinse it correctly make sure it is all clean because if there's any condensation in your mask or any water gets in if there is still soap left in the mask it will go into your eyes and it will burn so just make sure that you rinse properly but it is an awesome alternative okay and two last little tricks i have learned while diving is that it doesn't matter when you put your defog onto your lens but you should rinse this defog off moments before climbing into the water not as you're shuffling around, still putting on gear, or as you get into the boat. It should be done just before you're about to enter the water. And the second one is, once you have rinsed, put it onto your face, and then don't move it. Don't shuffle it around or put it onto your forehead, because this basically eliminates the whole defogging process that we have just done. Okay, and with that, I just want to say thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.